what is up guys, Surgical Golden here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'll try to complete the screen challenge live for you guys. As you guys can see right now, I'm 9-1 in the challenge, so I do need to win 3 more matches to complete it. And of course, we can't afford losing one match, but when we lose twice, we are out of the challenge. And I'll actually try to complete it with this giant witch, kind of like a hybrid deck, because we also have the miner, lumberjack, ice spirit, really cheap actually, 3.4 average lex cost, so pretty cheap for a beatdown deck. So as I said, this deck cycles pretty quick, so let's go, let's get out of, uh, like go over the deck real quick. So in my opinion, this deck is really solid. It has some really solid air defense. Of course, we can struggle a bit, but as I said, we can punish, for example, when they invest into Lava Out, with, I don't know, let's say, Giant uh, Mega Main or Giant Lumberjack or something like this. And then, of course, the Witch on Defense, which got a huge buff, guys. In my opinion, it will be really, really good now. I didn't test it, to be honest. So, I like, right now, it's just a deck based on, like, uh, what I think will be good. Like, I didn't test it yet, so maybe it will not be good at all. But I actually think this deck is really, really good and also really balanced. For example, this deck used to be with Hunter and then uh, Zep instead of Ice Spirit and then Guards instead of Lumberjack. Why no Guards or something? Just because the Witch spawns the destruction. For example, against the Pe uh, Pekka, Mini Pekka, whatever, the Witch will, uh, like, spawn their Skeletons. And then, of course, right now, because of the buff it will spawn even quicker like the skeletons will spawn even quicker so in my opinion the like a distraction as I said like guards or something like this is not needed zip uh, why zip why no um or why ice spirit why no zip just because of the witch like the splash damage for example the hunter was pretty good but in my opinion the witch is really good like splash damage wise against minions against i don't know let's say bats or something like this and of course we also have the poison so the ice spirit is just to make the cycle a bit better to cycle a bit easier then of course the miner to tank let's say the giant dies we still have a witch there we still have a lumberjack there miner to chip away to tank of course also against elixir collectors and stuff like this mega minion did get nerfed but in my opinion it will still be really good just because it will uh, like still get a lot of value but i would say let's open to the first match guys enough talking as said in my opinion this is a really solid deck like really well-rounded deck uh, but let's see if we're able to get the 12 win. So it looks like we are facing a really good player Let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him the good luck. So we started with poison. We have giant miner look Next card is the lumberjack. So I don't really want to drop anything yet I mean, I guess I could send a miner, but let's see what he drops looks like he actually sent his collector So I'll actually go with a miner to the tower and then poison everything Hopefully he drops something looks like he doesn't drop something So maybe he was expecting it uh, while playing his part, but we'll still be able to get some chip damage So collector could be three musketeers. He also drops his um his rescal so i'm thinking about logging them away just because i don't want to leak elixir but maybe he has a goblin gang let's see if he has a goblin gang or something like this but let's see guys looks like he does go with three musketeers so i'll actually go with giant in the same lane as the two musketeers and then i'll uh, back it up with a witch of course we like are weak uh if he attacks us in this side but i'm actually fine with trying to like take the um like kind of a tower trade but let's see guys let's go with a lumberjack for the bandit looks like uh the musketeers are unfortunately outside of the range looks like he does go with his look as well i'll actually go with the ice spirit over here and let's see if the witch with the help of the skeletons will be able to finish off the musketeers actually that wasn't the best giant i was expecting the giant because normally with golem i would play them in the same lane and then the musketeers will actually be in range of the tower but i guess because the giant is a little bit quicker it was actually um like the musketeers were actually outside of the range of the tower so we weren't able to counter it but let's see let's actually this time send the miner to his collector let's see if he goes with his rascals maybe he does uh looks like he goes with the ice spirit and then i guess with rascals looks like he actually only goes with the ice spirit so that's really good for us he spent seven elixir there he did get one elixir back of course but that was really good for us we only spent three elixir there like on the miner so let's see guys he does go with his rascals again i'll go with a giant i'll go with a witch so he does have a look so we do need to watch out um like with that but I mean, I guess we can't really give him that much look value unless like we get a bunch of skeletons on the field. So let's see if he will go with his musketeers. Looks like he does go with muskies. So I'll actually go with the poison over here. Maybe I could have hit the tower as well, but let's see. So I would just go with the ice spirit there. The musketeer on the right side will be able to get one hit, but I'm fine with getting one hit just because I said we are using a beatdown deck. So let's see guys, which is being targeted by the tower. Uh, the bandit was actually like going for one of the skeletons. And as you guys can see, it still spawned more skeletons. So that was actually really good for us. Let's go with the giant at the bridge right now. Let's go with a lumberjack. And he actually bumped up, so that's good for us. He doesn't have that much elixir right now. Let's actually go with a look for his uh, rescue girls. Let's then go with a miner to the tower. He also goes with his better ramp, but let's see, guys. The miner is still tanking there. Lumberjack is still alive. Giant is hitting the tower. Mega Man is still alive, so it looks like that will be uh, tower, I guess. Maybe not. Let's see. Lumberjack locked on. Mega Man locks on, and that will be tower. So let's go with a witch into the lane of the bandit. Let's see uh, what he drops right now. Maybe he will go with muskies. Looks like he actually goes with rascals. And I'm guessing he will attack in the right side lane just because he has more damage to that. But let's go with a Mega Man there. Let's actually go with a Poison over here. Um, and let's see, guys. I think this is a good game. Just 10 seconds left. Let's actually see what he drops. Let's go with Ice Spirit to cycle. But as I said, I think this is a good game. Poison was able to finish off the Musketeers. Let's go with a Witch over here. 
and with the help of the like skeletons we will easily be able to counter that just because the skeletons like as i said act as a distraction for the bandit while the witch is trying to kill them and of course we also had the lumberjack and stuff in cycle so that was actually a really interesting game really good game so the giant timing was really important guys just because i uh like knew like i was expecting him to pump up so i actually went all in kind of all in into the left side lane knowing that he just invested six elixir and the elixir collector then uh like he didn't have any elixir to counter it of course he dropped his rascals but we had to look for that and then we send a miner in the back of the tower to tank and of course chip away so 10 one in the grand challenge right now so far looking really good i actually really like this deck the witch i'm not sure about um just because i haven't used her in such a long time so for example behind the giant like i was expecting them to easily counter the two musketeers but we weren't able to so of course like sometimes you just need to yeah kind of test some interactions like some situations and then you know if it's good or not next time i will definitely not play the giant into the two musketeers for example maybe i can first do the witch but let's see guys let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him the good luck so we have mega me and we have uh giant we have witch minor next card is the poison so let's see looks like this guy isn't really dropping anything i guess i can just start off with a mega minion let's see if he responds to it if he doesn't um then i guess we get a mega minion but looks like he goes with his ice golem into the same lane so i'm thinking about going with my witch but i don't really want to like give him really much spell value if he has um, a big spell and maybe we need to keep the witch for something so i'm thinking about what to do right now but ice golem could mean another three musketeers looks like he actually has a ghost so uh could also be bridge spam actually like with Ghost, uh, Ice Golem, of course, like Lumberjack, I think is really popular right now. And then Zeppis as well. There you go. There's his uh, Inferno Dragon. So I'm thinking about going with Giant. Let's go with Ice Spirit. Let's then go with a Giant and then go with a Lumberjack behind it because he just used his Tank Killer. So let's actually go with Lumberjack right now. Looks like he goes with his own Lumberjack. I'll actually go with my Ice Spirit. Um, and let's see, guys. He is able to counter it really well with Lumberjack and with Zeppis as well. So we do need to watch out with the counter push because he does have... Um, there you go there's the better ram he does have a better ram so let's see let's go with a witch unfortunately the lumberjack does give it like a rage to that so we do need to go with ice spirit as well so really well played on his part unfortunately ice spirit actually died so he will be able to get a lot of damage and i was actually expecting him to like uh like we would actually do more damage to the right side tower but he defended it so well guys with lumberjack then ice golem to retarget my lumberjack and then with the help of the zeppi so definitely really well played on his part i thought we would be able to get a lot of damage just because he used his inferno dragon but he was still able to defend it really well so we did take a lot of damage to the right side but let's see guys uh we have poison mega minion uh giant and miner so unfortunately we don't have anything to retarget his inferno dragon that's really unfortunate but let's go with the giant in the back and start to build a push but as said his inferno dragon will get a lot of value in this matchup so let's see guys the mega minion will die for sure we still have a giant on the field let's go with lumberjack i don't want to give him too much um poison value but let's see let's go with a poison let's go with a witch over here let's try to let the witch like lock on the inferno dragon and hopefully kill it as soon as possible with the help of the poison looks like it didn't so that's unfortunate but let's go with a mega minion let's then go with another giant because everything will be raged up right now so let's go with another giant guys looks like he did have um a fireball as well let's go with a lumberjack let's go with an ice spirit but i think this is a good game just because as i said we don't have anything to retarget the inferno dragon of course the ice spirit did jump there but it will still be a good game just because he has lumberjack tower shooting of course so that will be a good game and unfortunately it will put us at 10-2 in the challenge so we need to win two more matches guys there you go there's the fireball to finish off the tower and of course hit the witch so that's a good game just 10 seconds left don't think can uh like i don't think i can do anything let's uh, of course not give him the trick down so let's give him the good game let's give him the well played and let's give him a thumbs up so that's unfortunate guys as i said i don't think i could have done anything in this matchup maybe i should have uh been like so aggressive like with the giant at the start but i was just thinking like he used his inferno dragon so i can punish it on the right side because as i said like he used that uh, the tank killer but unfortunately he was still able to defend it really well so 10-2 in the challenge right now as i said we need to win two more matches to complete it with this giant witch minor deck okay guys so i would say let's just hop into the third match hopefully right now we are able to win two more matches back to back looks like we are facing a japanese player so let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him the good luck so we have uh look we have giant we have witch miner next card is the lumberjack so let's see what um like our opponent drops looks like he goes with an ice spirit so ice spirit could be looks like also skeletons could be 2.6 uh hawk cycle which isn't the best matchup just because he cycles so quick but also not the worst matchup just because we actually have minor for his musketeer so let's go with a look let's then go with lumberjack we do need to watch out with uh like his cycle just because he cycles so insanely quick guys but let's see he did use the ice golem so i'm thinking about going with a giant push into no looks like he actually goes with musketeer i'll go with a giant in the back into his musketeer just because if he pushes with a hawk rider into this we can actually go with 
let's see, let's go with Mega Man. Like he would actually allow us to make like a stronger counter push. I said like if he would push the Hawk Rider into the left side lane, we would right now have a Mega Man and a Giant on the field. So let's see, let's go with a Lumberjack behind this. Let's then have the Miner ready for his uh, Musketeer. He probably cycled to it already. Looks like the Lumberjack actually went for the tower. And look at the Lumberjack, guys. Lumberjack is actually locked on. He does go with his Musketeer. We can actually go with a Poison. But look at the Lumberjack, guys. Wow, so much damage over there. Down to 11, um, no, 1,000 something. No, even below. Wow, 900. Uh, let's see. 918 HP left on the left side tower. That was actually so good. The Lumberjack is so quick, guys. So let's see, we right now just need to chip away, like we have a miner, we have poison of course, giant to tank, but right now we, we just need to like, uh, yeah, kind of focus on defense, I try to not take too much damage with this hawk rider, let's go with another giant in the back, there's his hawk rider, let's go with a mega me, let's go with an ice spirit, let's try to um, like only take one hit, there you go, hawk rider will only be able to uh, like take one hit and our tower is still at 18, uh, 24 HP, so that's really good for us. So let's see guys, he will probably go with his cannon right here, then he will go with a um, uh, musketeer, so I will go with the lumberjack, then I will have my poison ready, or maybe I should just send a miner to the tower, but actually I will go with a poison over here, um, maybe I could have hit the cannon, I don't think so, but let's see, let's try to have the miner ready, just because I actually want to send, like try to have a rage miner on the tower, look at that guys, rage miner, looks like he did predict it, so we'll play his part, but the miner might still be able to lock on the tower, there you go, one hit, two hits, um, three hits, four hits on the tower, Actually, five hits on the tower. Wow, so much damage, guys. Down to two, nine, eight. And that's actually poison lock range. So let's go with a poison right now. Let's actually send in the miner to his um, musketeer just to make sure we actually kill it and then hopefully take down the tower. We do need to focus on defense right now, but tower will definitely go down, guys. Let's actually go with a witch to the side. Let's then go with a lumberjack. And let's see if we're able to counter this Hawk Rider. Looks like the Hawk Rider will be able to get one hit. But let's try to, again, as I said, like cycle. Do need to watch out because the tower is uh, getting a bit lower. But I think we will still have enough time to defend. There's only 14 seconds left. So let's see, guys. Let's go with a look over here. Witch actually doing work. Um, let's go with a defensive miner. Let's then go with a witch to the side again. And let's go with Ice Spirit. So Miner is there. Witch is there. Let's go with Ice Spirit. He does go with a Fireball. But I think with the help of the Witch and the Tower, the Hawk Rider will only be able to get one hit. And as you guys can see, we are able to win the match. And that puts us at 11-2 right now, guys. So this will actually be really close from 9-1 to 11-2. And this is the moment, guys. Of course, like, this is the last match. Because if we lose, we're out of the challenge. And if we win, we actually completed the challenge. As I said, with this Giant Witch deck, really interesting deck. Witch is actually pretty powerful, in my opinion. In that matchup, we didn't use it too much. In my opinion, we didn't really need it. Just because it's a Fireball value for him um and of course he cycles fireball so quick so we actually won the game in my opinion with uh giant lumberjack miner poison and then of course the witch at the end like to help defend the hawk rider so 11 doing the challenge right now guys and this is the moment as i said let's see what kind of matchup we get and let's see if we're able to win it so let's see looks like we're facing ruben let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him the good luck so he's saying wow wow, wow. we started with witch ice spirit giant mega minion next card is the poison so let's see i guess i would just start off with ice spirit that bridge looks like he goes with his night witch in the back and this could be Golem, guys. Golem is actually a pretty tough matchup just because in general, like, a Golem push is stronger than a Giant push. So, let's see. He did, he did use the Poison, but I think the Witch will still be able to get some value. And the Witch actually survives the Poison, but, of course, the Night Witch is there. So, let's go with a Mega Man in the back. The Night Witch will be able to kill the Witch, but as I said, he spent quite a lot of Elixir. Um, looks like he goes with his Mega Man. I'll actually go with my Giant in front. Then I will go with a Lumberjack behind it. And let's see if we're able to come true. Looks like he also has a mini P.E.K.K.A. So he has mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh, he also has a giant deck. Well, I was thinking for one second he actually has... Um, he had a golem deck. But looks like he also has um, a giant deck. So let's actually go with Ice Spirit. Let's then go with a witch to the side. And let's see if the witch is able to counter this. Of course, with the skeletons. Looks like he did zap it. But one skeleton he actually missed. And look at the witch, guys. Is able to counter all of that. So the uh, witch will go for the counter push. And he still needs to respond to that. Let's see if he goes with a lock, but he did use the zap. So I'll actually send my miner to the tower, trying to tank for the witch and the skeletons. Looks like he does go with a lock, so while playing his part. And the lock will be able to finish off the witch, so let's see. He has um, lock, zap, I guess maybe a fireball or a poison. Oh no, actually already poison, like he already showed the poison. Kind of forgot about that, so let's go with a uh, lock for the night witch. So let's see, guys. He has mini P.E.K.K.A., which is really, really good against our giant. But of course, we also have uh, some like giant like killers. We have the Lumberjack, we have the Witch. We do need to watch out with giving him spell value. Just because, of course, the Poison and Lock, I believe, does kill the Witch. So let's see, guys. Let's go with Lumberjack to the side. Let's have our Mega Minion ready to like uh, kill his Mega Minion on our giant. So let's see. Let's go with uh, Mega Minion right now. Um, and let's see, guys. Lumberjack will be able to finish that off. I'll actually go with Ice Spirit over here. And then I will go with a, a Miner at the back of the tower. Let's see if we're actually able to uh, come through here. Looks like he does also have a Witch. So he has also a Witch, Night Witch. Let's go with a look for his uh, normal witch. So it looks like he has double witch, like giant double witch, and then mini pack. A really interesting deck, actually. 
Let's go with a witch. Let's go with a poison defensive. Let's go with an ice spirit. Maybe he will go with a poison offensive. There you go. There's his offensive poison. Let's go with a lumberjack defensive. He will probably go with a zap right now. And let's see if we're able to counter the giant. Looks like his giant is able to get two or three hits, I believe. There you go. Two hits. So we are able to... Like, he is able to get the damage lead. But let's see. Um, there you go. He actually wasted the Mega Minion. And of course, that does put a rage like on the field. So let's actually go with a giant at the bridge right now, guys. Let's then go with a poison. And unfortunately, the Mini Pekka was able to get one hit. Let's go with a look as well. Let's try to have the Lumberjack ready for his Giant. So the Giant is actually there. Let's go with a Lumberjack right now. Giant is able to get at least one hit, I believe. There you go. One hit brings down the tower to 903 uh, HP. So let's go with a Miner at the back of the tower. He again goes with his Lumberjack or a Mini Pekka. But Lumberjack is still there. Let's go with a Mega Minion. Right now it will be really close, guys. Wow. <coughs> uh, I'm sorry. But let's see, guys. He will definitely go with his uh, Giant right now. Let's actually go with a Witch. Let's have a uh, look ready. Let's go with look right now. Let's go with Lumberjack. Let's go with an Ice Spirit to the side. Unfortunately, Ice Spirit actually got, like, he actually prediction. I, I mean, he didn't predict the Ice Spirit or something, but he actually locked the, the Witch. So, unfortunately, it was able to kill it. So, let's go with a Witch to the side. He does have the um, Mega Main there, so we are kind of forced to go with a Witch. And let's see if he goes with his Mini Pekka. We do need to watch out. Looks like he goes with his Witch. So, I'll actually go with a Poison right now. Let's see if he goes with his Mini Pekka. Looks like he does go with a Mini Pekka, so we can actually go with our Miner. Let's go with a look to the, or let's go with a miner to the tower. Let's go with a Mega Man. And let's see if the miner is able to finish it off, guys. Looks like it will be really close. 71 HP. And I think, oh wow, we actually need to go with a Lumberjack. I think this is a good game just because the Lumberjack will be able to finish it off. The Giant will be able to finish it off. I think uh, 69 HP. Let's see if the miner is able to. And wow, the miner was able to finish it off. I was stressing so much at the end, guys. Like, I wasn't sure. Should I try to poison? Should I try to go, like, defend? What should I do? And I actually decided to defend, like, with the Lumberjack. We were able to, like, kill the Giant just in uh, time, like, before he actually killed our tower. Then he went with the poison. But we cycled back to the miner. And the miner was able to finish off the left side tower. Wow, that was insane, guys. Super, super cool episode, in my opinion. 12-2, we were able to complete the challenge with this, um, yeah, as I said, like, giant miner psycho deck with the witch. Kind of like a hybrid deck, because we have the miner there, of course, who so kind of we could also play, like, um, a miner control. Like, let's say he has a giant, or, like, let's say he has a P.E.K.K.A. We don't need to play the giant at all, but in some matchups, like, it's really versatile, in my opinion. Really cool deck. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. So, as I said, this was a really tough matchup, guys. Yeah, Double Witch, uh, Mini P.E.K.K.A., which is super, super good against our... Um... <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Wow, that was so insane. So, he has the Mini P.E.K.K.A., which is super good against our troops. And, of course, if we use the Poison on the Night Witch, he can go with the Witch. So, his deck is also really cool. I will definitely maybe give it a try later, but... As I said, we were able to complete the Grand Challenge, so 12-2 in the challenge. I would say let's just open to the chest opening, guys. Let's see what we're able to get. So it looks like we get some gold, which is always nice. We get some Ice Spirit, Fire Spirits, which actually got buffed. We get some Main Horde, we get Elixir Collector, we get some Cannons, we get some Zeps, we get Tesla. Uh, we get Royal Giant, we get Skeleton Barrel, we get some Barbarians. And I think we might actually get a Legendary, but I don't think so. Um, just because we didn't get too many cards, but actually quite a lot of comments. Let's see if we're able to get a legendary. Looks like we get some, uh, we get some epics, and I believe right now we need to get a bunch of rares, and then we might get a legendary. But let's see, guys. Looks like we don't get a legendary. We get six more, uh, like epics, executioner, and then next card should be a rare. Looks like 105 goblin hut. So I do have the goblin hut max. So of course there will be some extra gold. So a pretty cool chest in my opinion. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Insane episode at the end. I'm sorry for stressing so much, guys. That was so close. Like I didn't know what to do, but actually we managed, um, yeah, to still defend that, and then actually managed to take the tower before his poison was able to take down our tower. So hopefully you guys could learn something from this episode. Hopefully you guys, uh, yeah, enjoyed this. Feel free to copy this deck, of course. Like, definitely give it a try. Really fun and solid deck, like, for the new meta. The battle stages just went live, like, a couple of hours ago. So, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed it, make sure to smack that like button. If not, subscribe to my channel. Feel free to subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye, guys. <laughs>